Hello, Noah. Good morning. <laughs> Jason and Jenny, good morning. How are you two? Really great. How are you so doing? Great. <laughs> doing fantastic. I'm ready for the holiday season, aren't you guys? Always ready for the holiday season. Yes, yeah. <laughs> if we, if we can just get through Halloween, you know what I mean? And, and then, and then <laughs> we'll put up the Christmas decorations. That's right, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So, you know, a new holiday movie, Christmas Jars, is based on the beloved novel written by you, Jason, telling the story of reporter Hope Jensen, who uncovers the remarkable secret behind the glass jars filled with coins and bills anonymously left for people in need. So, how exciting is it to see the final product, and how? Will this film hopefully, you know, make an impact on others to help give this holiday season? Yeah, Jason, well, let's start off with you. Yeah, man, the first part of that question, how exciting is it? I, it's yeah. really hard for me to sit still right yeah. now. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting next to this lovely actress who plays the, the lead in the film, Hope Jensen, and and I've been dreaming about this moment for a really, really long time. So it's, it's pretty surreal. And I'm so thankful that you have us on to talk about this. This means a lot to both of us. But I think what we're hoping for is that people will see the film November 4th, They'll feel something, and they'll be inspired then to go do something. And that something that we talk about is, uh, don't just see the film, but take a jar, a glass jar, a pickle jar, a peanut butter jar, whatever you got. <laughs> stick it on your counter. Put your spare change in it every single day uh, between the, the night of the 4th of November through Christmas. And then maybe on Christmas Eve, go find someone to give that jar of change away to anonymously and yeah. see if it doesn't change something inside you. I, I, I just think this is so great because this is really what the holiday season is all about, is helping others who need it the most, giving to others, uh, besides just thinking of yourself. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. I think this is all around great. Um, Jenny, we're going to get to you and talk about your character, but Jason, I just want to ask you too, you know, the story you wrote in the movie, you know, everyone will see on screen for one night, which is coming to 800 theaters nationwide. This is something that you created, which has become a new tradition that has changed the lives of many people in their time of need all over the country. So how does that truly make you feel, Jason, knowing that your book has really helped bless so many people across the world? No, it's <laughs> surreal. That's the only way to describe it. Like, are we even really talking about this right now? I mean, when you grow up wanting to be a writer, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a, a book option and turn into a movie. It's it's pretty surreal. And it's not just the film. That's exciting. November 4th is going to be an amazing night. And we hope people will show yeah. up. But but more than that, it's knowing how many people are now going to take action and become a mm -hmm. part of this, this Christmas jar movement. Absolutely. Well, Jenny, let's now talk about your character because like Jason said, you know, you play the reporter Hope Jensen. So talk to us about your character. How was it like to be able to play her? And what did you enjoy the absolute most about being about, uh, about being a part of Christmas jars? It was a really, really incredible experience. Um, I joined onto the film pretty, pretty late. I had about a week between <laughs> auditioning, getting the script, and showing up on set. So it was a very unique experience. It tends to be like that. But um, I could just tell very early on that this script was very different than a lot of what I'm used to. It has so much heart, and the movement behind it is really special. Mm -hmm. And that really helped me connect with the character and the story very early on, especially getting to sit down and actually talk with Jason about the book and yeah. the character that he's known a lot longer uh, than I've known her, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> much, much longer. So getting that insight was really special for me. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I think you did such a terrific job, and I can't wait for people to be able to see you on screen and, you know, to see Jason's book come to life as a movie, because I think that uh, that's what every author wants, right? For their book to become a movie, uh, right? I mean, oh, come yeah. on. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Let's make another one, right? Let's <laughs> yeah, go make absolutely. another one. November 5th, we'll start another one. Uh, so, um, uh, Jenny, I want you to talk to us about the premise of the story and kind of tell us what the audiences will see on screen in the movie, because I think really everything that you read from the book is kind of the same that you'll see in the movie, right? They're so close. For yeah. sure, they're very close. There are a couple mm -hmm. a couple changes, but I think everyone is really going to like it. Yeah, they yeah. didn't really take anything away. They just added mm -hmm. some some new aspects that I think are going to be really exciting. It translates really well on screen. Uh. Um, but it, yeah, my character is a news reporter and very ambitious. And the story starts off with her adoptive mother and following their journey. And then after her mother passes and mm -hmm. a few other unfortunate events, she finds this jar outside of her door and mm -hmm. goes off on an adventure to try and figure out who left it for her and yeah. hopefully say thanks. So, yeah. 
Such yeah. a beautiful story. Uh, Jason, what personally made you actually want to, you know, write a holiday book that has, you know, such a great message and meaning to spread out there to others uh, this holiday season? Well, that kind of starts with a confession. I was really kind of blue and a little bit depressed back in 2004, mm -hmm. um, that holiday season. I was just struggling a little bit, and, and I wasn't exactly sure why, but I sat down with my wife one night, and I was kind of talking her through a little bit of what I was feeling, and I was kind of missing my dad. He passed away during the holidays oh, when I was younger, yeah. and, and so we, we came up with this idea that would kind of force me to just quit looking in the mirror and thinking about myself. And that idea was to put that jar on the counter and to put my spare change in it every day. And the whole family got involved, even my little girls at the time. And, mm -hmm. and we just decided that maybe coming up with this kind of habit or tradition in our family might just force us to think about the needs of other people, to just be a little bit more aware of people around us and, and how we might be able to bless their lives. And, and that jar, that first year in 2004, when you were like a toddler yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, is the reason we're here today because we gave it away to a family in need uh -huh. uh, in the D.C. suburbs where we lived at the time. And it's hard to think about now without just choking up at the memory because it's not just why we're here today, but it's why I think I'm a better dad and a husband because of that night giving that first jar away. Oh, I love it. See, that's why I love being able to have guests like you guys on that, you know, is um, all about sharing a positive message because we are living in such a world that is so dark where we need more light. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I think this is so beautiful. And I'm so happy to be able to share this, you know, with my audience, um, you know, this morning. And uh, kind of aside from the movie now, just a little fun question for you both. What's really a holiday tradition you both like to do with your families each and every year? Maybe one that you uh, started with you when you were a young kid and you still continue to do it today. Uh, Jenny, let's start off with you and Jason, I'll let you share yours. I mean, my family lives all over the place, so it's really the one thing that's always consistent is early morning, bright and early, 6 a.m. downstairs, oh, pajamas yeah. and breakfast. That's, that's the one thing that every year goes on. I love it's, it. Yeah. Exciting. Yes, how, very. <laughs> how about for you, Jason? Uh, no, ours is a little different. Ours is a little less traditional. So uh, uh, um, <laughs> we put out Santa, I should say, Yes. puts uh. out every imaginable kind of candy and junk and just garbage you can imagine on this <laughs> island in our kitchen. And the kids uh -huh. know it's the one day of the year when they don't have to ask. They don't have to have breakfast first. I don't care if they get up at 4 a.m. and eat seven pounds of gummy bears. It's Christmas. Uh -huh. If that's what you want to do, that's what you do. And by you, I mean me. I eat a lot of gummy bears on Christmas oh. morning. So that's our tradition is we just eat and have fun and, and then we pay for it later. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you know, I have a twin sister. So me and my twin, we would literally, you know, get up and go into our parents' room and say, come on, let's go open up the present. They're like, oh, no, you know, not now. It's too early. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping you know? on the bed. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. oh, oh, those, were the, those were the fun times when you were a kid and, you know, just the whole magic of Christmas. I mean, it still is today, you know, but just, you know. Not the same. Anyway. No. anyway. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay. Well, Christmas Jars, it is in theaters for a special one-night event Monday, November the 4th, 7 p.m. local time. Coming to 800 theaters nationwide, so be sure to check to see if it's coming to your theater. Um, and if Christmas Jars, uh, will it be releasing on DVD? Is this a movie? Because I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, you know, if it's not coming to their theater, will it release on DVD, Jason? You know, we suspect that there will be opportunities to see it on other platforms, but uh -huh. this is such a cumulative community film. It's a community project. Mm -hmm. A million people have read the book and have been waiting so long to see it in the movie theater yeah. that we are really sticking with November 4th. Get your people together. You know, I've heard of people having to drive as much as three hours to see the film that night because wow. they're that committed to uh -huh. seeing it with family and friends. So so let's get out November 4th, 7 o'clock. Big shout out to the great people at BYU uh, and Muse, the yes. director, Jonathan Wright, uh, just did a terrific job to make something that deserved a night in theaters, and that's what we're going to get. Jason and Jenny, I could talk with you all day long, but thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat with me about Christmas jars. My family and I, we're, we're going to be there on November the 4th, that's right, because I'm really, really wanting to see this film a lot. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care and have a great holiday season. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>